This video is an introduction to basic use of a very common tool, being a square in woodworking. We have three different types in this shop. We have a combination square. It's called that because it can do multiple things. We're going to go over that. A tri-square, which is used for measuring right angles. We also have a carpenter square or a framing square. We use that less often due to the size of a lot of our projects. The main function of a square is to mark 90 degree angles and in the case of this combination square to also mark 45 degree angles. It's important to realize that when you're using a square it's not just a ruler. You have to use the body and it must be held against the edge in order to get a clean reference line. So when I go to use this square to mark out a 90 degree line I'm going to take the square and hold it against the, uh, the body, it has to be held against the edge, and then I can use a pencil or other marking device to make a 90 degree line. That'll be 90. On a combination square you also have the 45. Hold the 45 degree portion of the body against the square and then you will be able to draw a 45 degree line. Okay? combination square also has an added feature of being able to slide the body up and down the ruler portion. That can be useful when you want to scribe parallel lines. If I need a layout line that is an inch and a half from this edge, I can simply set my square to be an inch and a half from the end here, tighten the little thumb screw, then put the body against the edge, hold my pencil on the end of the ruler portion and slide them all together and you'll get a nice parallel line that is the distance uh, that you've set here. Those are some three basic uses of a combination square and other squares can be used to mostly do reference 90 degree lines, but also more advanced things when you get into the framing square, but that's more of a carpentry thing.